Peace, peace, family. Brother Dawa here again. On this beautiful AM. Alito family, how y'all doing? I want to take a few minutes, family, to uh, address a real serious topic we got in the community. And it's these bitter mothers, these bitter women that, that uh, stop men from coming around their children in peace, you know, threatening to call the police and telling them, you know, if you don't follow their rule and what they want you to do, you can't see the child. The child got to sneak and call the father. Call his brother. That come from the same father or sister, and then the mother find out child get punished. You're not supposed to contact your father, nobody from his family, because what for what? Why? Because he doesn't want to be with you. Because you and him can't reconcile. Y'all can't come together. Y'all can't come to some type of agreement to be with each other. So that's all his fault so he can't see his child. Because, you know, you want that, what, control? You want to bring the man to his knees? You want to make the man hurt? Or what is it? What are you really accomplishing when you're not allowing the men to see their children in peace? You know, when is it time to stop arguing and grow the hell up? For real. When is it time to stop arguing and grow the hell up? You done moved on in your life and had other men and all this type of stuff. Yeah, I know it sounds personal, and it is. But it's also brothers out there, plenty that's dealing with the same scenario. Because the energy of a lot of women is locked on stupid. You know, you keeping the child away from the father doesn't mean that the child isn't going to think like the father in some situations, be like the father in other situations because it's quite natural because they come from the Father. The seed is planted in you. You're not giving anything, you're receiving. You see this man's seed and then you keep the seed from the man because you mad, because you know, you don't, you can't have your way. You can't make him submit to what you, whatever it is that you want from him. You can't get him to squeeze more nickels and dimes out of his pocket. (laughs) So he can't see the child. He can't even talk to him. Child growing up every day looking more like him. Thinking more like him. What is the major accomplishment is the question though. Like what are you getting out of? What is the child getting out of? Is it benefiting you? Is it benefiting the child? It's just something that you just out here doing because, you know, you want to control a situation that you have no control over. Like, what's the goal? (laughs) You know... (laughs) A real talk, I just need an answer. Like, what is the goal here? You want to keep the child from the father. When the father wasn't beating you upside your head, the father ain't caused you no stress, no drama. (laughs) You know what I mean? The father ain't even in your life no more. You done moved on and you still, you know, like... I can't see the child because you say so. (laughs) 
Man, you know you had messed up these communities with that nonsense. You done messed these communities up with that nonsense. A lot of these children are rebelling because they ain't been able to see their fathers. Every father ain't bad because he don't want to be with you. Maybe you got some bad elements. Maybe you need to do some healing. Maybe you need some correction. Maybe you need some instruction. Let the father see the child. The world is coming to a drastic change, an ending. Or the way it's been running, it's coming to an end. Let the father see the child. Or you're gonna go into the next phase with a karma you ain't gonna want. You ain't gonna want no parts up, but it'll be too goddamn late. But anyway, you got your own free will. Brother man, get you a sister, sister, get you a brother. Drop the other both of you. Peace.